And then we had another interesting question. Do K-1 visas have an annual cap or is there a limit on how many K-1 visas can be issued every year? And uh, this seems to be, so there must be some kind of rumor or there might be some confusion going on, but we've been asked this question a couple times recently in the past week. And so I definitely wanna clear up this rumor about whether or not K-1 visas have um, an annual cap, because there seems to be a rumor that there's only a certain amount of K-1 visas allowed every year, and that it's that because of that, it's better to do the CR-1 or the, or the spousal visa. And so that's the, the short answer is that's actually not true. Uh, and not to get too immigration or too nerdy on you, but just to give you a little bit of background about where I think this is coming from, is that, um, is that basically there are immediate, there's something called an immediate relative, and then there's something called a non-immediate relative in immigration. Immediate relatives are individuals who are married to United States citizens, um, parents of United States citizens, um, and then children of United States citizens. So children under 21, and then um, children that are over 21 that are United States citizens petitioning for their parents. Those individuals are what they call immediate relatives. And so that means those, those individuals don't have to wait in line for a visa to become available. Yes, you have to wait in line for an interview to become available, but not for the actual visa to become available. And so that's the same thing with fiance visas. There isn't a, an, a, a cap on those. Uh, an individual who's engaged to a United States citizen can be eligible for the fiance visa. And so there isn't a limit. So that's not true that there's uh, an annual cap on those. Um, there's something called non-immediate relatives, and so that's everybody else that I didn't mention as an immediate relative. Those individuals actually have to wait in a line for a visa to become uh, available. And so USCIS has a bulletin that they um, provide, or the National Visa Center has a bulletin that they provide updated every month that shows how many are available and where everybody is at in the line. Some countries, for example, our firm focuses on, on couples, but just so you have an idea, Petitions for siblings is a big one, and that has some of the longest wait times. Some countries like Mexico, well over 20 years for a sibling petition. Um, but I don't want to digress too much. Basically, I think that's where that confusion was coming from, but I wanted to kind of make sure that clear up that rumor that that's not true.